What's up everybody? Welcome back to Make It Custom. I'm Carl Fisher. This video, I'm gonna show you guys how to build a firewall with a bead roller. I've got this Model A here. It's pretty cool, it's a little 1931. We've done a lot of work on it already. This is kind of before the channel, so you won't see any of this. You can check out my Instagram if you like for it. But uh, built new subframe, new floors, new substructure. So now I'm onto the firewall. I'm gonna bead roll a 16 gauge firewall for this Model A. This is an aftermarket firewall, a bolt-in one, and, and uh, it just, it was stock and we didn't want that. So motors placed, the uh, kick panels, the tow boards on the previous video, you may have seen those. The firewall itself is gonna be 16 gauge. It's gonna have this little bit of a curve in it. It angles out a little bit and then steps back down right here, it returns. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build the firewall first, bead roll it, and then I'm gonna need a cove for the distributor. That is gonna be another video where I actually make a wire but I'll do a video on that as well. And then shape the actual distributor cove and transmission tunnel. Before we do all that, we gotta make this firewall. So 16 gauge firewall, bead rolled, patterned out. Here we go. So we're done our bead rolling on that 16 gauge firewall panel. I did roll through twice just to make sure that we got a nice crisp line in there. Turned out really nice. The uh, next step is gonna be getting it fitted into place. We're gonna scribe really nice um, around where we're gonna cut it out and uh, we're gonna trim it, fit it, tack it. Let's go. Kind of what I'm looking for before I weld is I just want to make sure that everything is lined up. I went ahead and, and uh, 
uh, you know, knocked off the tips and, and um, hammered it all out. And then I just gave it a quick grind to make sure that I can see, you know, that both sides of each panel are touching when it's sanded with like 80 grit. Now I'm ready to weld. Panels are straight right now. They're aligned, they're tacked. Every three quarters of an inch, I'm just gonna weld the whole thing. For those people that are wondering, what I use for tick filler when I'm doing sheet metal is just the 035 wire I have in my large make. You can buy 040, I believe you can maybe buy it thinner, but my welding store doesn't stock it, so I just use this stuff and it works great. All right, well, that is it for the firewall video. We butt welded this thing in with the TIG real nice. We planished it all out. It's beautiful. I'm super happy with it. It came out great. And I hope you guys found some value in the video. And if you haven't yet already, please hit subscribe, hit notifications, and uh, you won't miss out on any of the upcoming videos. Distributor Cove and the transmission tunnel videos that are coming up next. There's a lot of bead rolling, metal shaping, power hammer we use uh, a little bit. We use the uh, planishing hammer. We go through all that with you on the next upcoming video. So don't forget to check it out. Thanks a lot. I'm Carl Fisher. This is Make It Custom. We'll see you on the next one.